I think what inspires me about the collection is the way that it demonstrates ingenuity, the way that people have solved problems. How can we travel faster than we can walk? How can we speak and hear further than we can shout and listen? Those kinds of things. So amazing examples of ingenuity to problems which, which really affect the quality of everybody's lives. The collection is divided into four main sections. It's the way we manage it in the museum. Science, technology, transport and communications. But another way of looking at it is to say we do the, the history and current practice of science and technology. I'm going to choose two highlights uh, for me. The oldest is the Bolton and Watt beam engine of 1786, which was designed by the great Scottish scientist and engineer James Watt. Uh, and our engine was actually built uh, and delivered to London, where it worked in a brewery. Now, the steam engine is an incredibly important item which really changed uh, industry changed people's lives in the 19th and 20th century. So a really, really key life changer. And the other life changer, but on a smaller scale, would be some prosthetic limbs. We've got wonderful collections of prosthetic limbs, artificial arms, which have been developed over the last 50 years, which is an amazing uh, fusion, uh, connection between people and engineering. The collections date from the mid-19th century, the 1850s, when we were established although we do have some older historical material we've collected since. And we've been collecting ever since then uh, contemporary material. And if you collect contemporary material for long enough, it becomes historical. My favorite object, that's a really hard question. We have tens of thousands of objects, but I'm going to pick one of the fantastic working models that uh, we have in the collections. Now the museum started to build models uh, when it didn't have space to bring in full-size machinery. And the model I like particularly is an 1880s express locomotive from one of the great Scottish railway companies. Uh, and the model was created to perfect scale in our workshops in the 1880s. Every nut, bolt, rivet, tiny piece of iron and steel and brass and wood created to perfect scale to show how steam engines were made and how they worked. <laughs>